people of God, we can always feel like we need more, we need more, we're never satisfied, we're never satisfied. Mm-hmm. And um, and he was saying that, you know, you, you, you'll be rich when you can be thankful for what God is giving yes, you, right. you know. So I just want to encourage all of us because we can want more. I got long hair, but I want it to be longer. I got a nice house, but I want it to, I want it to be bigger. I got a good job, but I want to get paid more. Oh, yeah. I got a, a, a good husband, but I want a, a better husband. Yeah. You know, we always want more than what we have. So I just want to encourage all of us to be grateful and thankful for what we got and show God how we appreciate what he has given us. And, 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 and live accordingly and continue to thank him because that's how we can show, uh, that's how we're rich. We're rich when we can be thankful for what God has already given us. So um, I'm going to pray. Father God, I just thank you so much, Father God, for you just being so faithful, so patient, Father God. And God, you are, you are my king. You are my king and I worship you, God. God, we know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper because you are the one protecting us, Father God. Father God, I thank you for you just being in control. And you show love and calm us to your standard, God. You want us to live holy and to live righteous unto you, Father God, without compromise, Father God. So I ask you to give us the strength. I pray that you take away everything that I had, all the fears, whatever that's, that's, that's keeping me from, that's what, that will keep me from preaching your word completely, Father. Father God. Take it away, Father God, and keep it away. And let you speak to me, oh God. I love you, Father God, and I thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 God is good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go into... Um, Romans uh, fifth chapter, brother uh, Raymond. We're not brother Raymond. Uh, brother Will. He said something th- th- uh, uh, today with the testimony because the doc- the documentary, uh, the documentary that, that he's seen. It, like I said, it was some good preachers, and they were saying the right the truth, the right, the right stuff partially. They were saying how. Uh, uh, Jesus is. It's not about us. It's not about what we can do and all these things. It's not about us. Uh, the bet, ten, 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 top ten steps makes me to make you successful and all. It's not about that. It's about it's about Christ. Christ is everything. God is everything. everything. Amen. At the same time, though, God calls us to be to have a standard. Amen. He yeah. wants us to live holy. That's Jesus right. gave us the power through the Holy Ghost to live holy. And to, to preach the gospel and to save the sick and to reconcile people back to the kingdom. So we know we, we can't we can't it's 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 it's, it's one thing to 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 uh to believe or know under Jesus is Lord that's the gospel. But at the same time, what's after that? What do God want you to do after you've been saved? What's next? What do you mean? God wants you, God wants you to, 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 to fulfill his purpose for you in his life. So we're gonna go to Romans fifth chapter, no fourth chapter, I'm sorry. Romans four chapter. Romans 4, 16. Therefore, is it of faith that it might be by grace to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed? Hmm. Not to only, not to that only which is of the law, Mm -hmm. but to that also which is of the faith of Hmm. Abraham, Mm -hmm. who is the father of us all. Okay. Next. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God. Who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Okay, here we have we have them. Um, he, he's talking about salvation, and he's talking about um, how Abraham he wasn't justified by uh, uh, the circumcision by who by who they like the Jews were were, were classified who they are and God by the flesh the law right. But he, but here it is saying here that we're saved by faith. Only the why Abraham fulfilled the promise or received the promise is through faith that God was going to bring it to pass. Okay, that's it. We're saved through faith. Okay, trusting in God. Amen. So he said this: As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God who quickened the dead. And call of those things which be not as though they were. I look at this from a perspective. We're saved by grace. Amen? Well, God called us to live holy. We can obey God's word to the T by the help of the Holy Ghost. Okay? Now, because before, because the Bible says, um, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Okay? All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. 
Amen. So we see here that when God saved us, He caught He we were before before He saved us, we were dead in our sins and our iniquities. Okay? We were we were uh, uh, blasphemous, we were uh, liars, cheaters, fornicators, adulterers, uh, lasciviousness. We used to walk around with lustful, evil lusts. We used to have anger and bitterness in our heart every day. Some of us who were able to claim to be Christians or know Christ, we will we will talk good, say good things in the world, but our actions didn't reflect who we were. We weren't truly saved, right? But by the grace of God, by Jesus, God our sins and rousing up and giving us redemption through the blood. We're able to live a life completely unto God. Amen. So with that, it comes down in our minds. People, we have people around uh, 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 around around us, even let me say, some of our Christians that say we we're saved, we still don't sin. We're still gonna fall. We're still gonna fall short. And no, and, 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 and we think about it. No one sins on accident, okay? Unless you do it ignorantly, but that's God. Unless, 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 unless because some, sometimes the Bible, God will reveal something to us later on in our walk that we're doing wrong, and we have to repent. That's what repentance is continuous, continuously. But nothing that we do is intentional. I mean, nothing that you do is on accident. If I punch somebody in the face, I'm gonna, I'm, I make my mind, I'm gonna do that. No, God gave us the freedom of choice. If I'm gonna lust and commit fornication. I'm making a conscious decision yeah. to do that. Right? If, I, if I make a decision to lie, it just, I made a decision to lie. So nobody forces us to do anything, right? So it's dangerous for us, for people to speak that, and also for us to believe that we can't do everything that God called us to do. Mm-hmm. Amen? We, we, we don't know that we're not the soup. We are saved through us believing in what Jesus said. Okay? So, verse 18, he says, Who against hope believed in hope, Hmm. that he might become the father of many nations, Okay, according to that which was spoken, shall thy seed be. Okay. Who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations. God is so good. (laughs) We were hopeless, Right? And, I, and, and, and it, even us now today, now we, we're, 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 walk, we're, we're walking on this on this faith journey, and and, and, and and we battle with our flesh, and we battle with the enemy in the world, right? It sometimes it seems impossible, especially when that old mentality try to keep into us and keep us to where we are. You said okay, and so so when when we used to. When, when we used to hold, when we used to walk around with a lot of, uh, 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 I see envy or covetousness in our hearts. Yeah. When somebody, when somebody, when somebody walk in, that might, you might think that look better than you, or you might think they have uh, more money or, or accolades or whatever than you. Back in the day, you're like, oh man, I wish this happened. I wish that happened. I wish, I wish I can get this thing. Let me get, let me make, let me go do something so I can get back up to his level. Let me, let me, nah, I'm mean, going that old mentality trying to creep in. But when, the, when the, you walk in the new man, who God calls you to be, you say, "Now nah, I'm good. I know I know what God has good, what God has done for me. I am thankful for what I have. No, thank you, right? I'm not about to fall for the okie doke, right? But sometimes, so with that that attitude and that mentality has to be cultivated. We have to keep practicing and practicing and practicing and continue to go through trials and tribulations for us to strengthen." That mentality, amen. So, so, but some, but times though, we don't because we like I said, we don't go by faith. We go by sometimes we look at what we see and that dis- and that destroys us, right? So, we we like, man, God, this thing, I don't want this stuff, but they feel like this thing is gonna kill me. I feel like I'm going to go back into what I used to think. This, I, I have no hope. God, what, what's going? What's going on? But He said, I guess I'll be the lead. Oh. So as we believe through the pressure, through us getting tried and true, uh, uh, us getting tried and the devil coming to mind saying, you want you to the same mentality or you this or you battling yourself. As long as we believe and hope, we can become what God called us to be. You understand what I'm saying? We can become as we believe and hope 
against hope because God is my hope. Yeah. Amen? Yes, sir. We're going to keep reading. So, verse 19, read that, read that, read that, read that. And being not weak in faith, hmm. he considered not his own body now hmm. dead. Huh? When he was about 100 years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Okay. The Bible says he considered, he said, being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body. <laughs> and he said, him being 100 years old in Sarah's womb, this guy, this is like, this is impossible for me to do. I don't know, God, this don't, I'm looking at what I, my, my track record, God, I can't do this on my own. I can't live the life you call me to live. I can't do this on my own. He said, he said, he said, he considered not himself. But he put his eyes on the cross. I know what God can do. So, we're going to keep going. But I think, because I want us to emphasize this. Because we, we are human beings, right? We're, we're fleshy. We're born in sin, right? We, we, our, flesh, our flesh is sinful, right? It has a nature to sin. But when we were saved and God gave us the Holy Ghost, we have the power to resist that flesh. The Bible says, Walk not in the walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So now we know we have power, and we have a helper, and we have the authority to 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 to, to, to resist our flesh, to resist the old man and the old mentality, and go into the place where God called us to be. And I said, I see this too, because we we cannot we have to stop. We have to stop looking at ourselves. Stop looking at look. Stop looking at other things that people have, have people have failed before, before you, or, or people has been de dealing with lust, or, or dealing with these uh, simple, or, or or dealing with lack, or or or, 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 or poverty, or, 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 or poor mentality for years. And I'm like, God, I can't overcome. God, I don't look like you telling me something, but I don't. What I'm looking at and what I've been doing before, it's not it's not adding up. I can't. I don't fly the path. I don't. Wow. It's just stop looking at yourself. You look at my word, and you look at me, what I have done. You know what I mean? And that will give you the encouragement. And that will give you. That will give you the power to go move forward. Amen. Keep going. Verse twenty. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, hmm? but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. God, this don't. God, God. This, this. What you telling me to do? This. This seems impossible. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I listen, but God, I believe you, I trust you, and I believe you to bring it to pass. I gotta give you glory. Even though I don't see anything, even though I don't feel like it, I, 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 can, I can make it through, but God, I trust you. You are faithful. Go ahead, verse 21. And being fully persuaded that which he had promised, he was able also to perform. Being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to to perform. Because uh, mm, 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 mm. the Bible says in Hebrews 6 chapter, it says, we must believe. They said, they said, without faith, it's impossible to please God. He that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Amen? Amen. So we have to believe when, because when, when, we're dealing with things, protection, Sometimes people walk around with fear that they're gonna that, that the devil is gonna <clears throat> is gonna uh, uh, put something in front of them to do to do to faith for them, to, to, for them not to believe that they will be able to live, to live holy and to accomplish the things that's been oppressing them, such as depression. I have okay, I got this information. I got the the God. The, I, I, found, I read this word. The other 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 the, the preacher just preached something that. Me to, to and gave me the power to, to, to go overcome this obstacle that's, I've, that's what I've been dealing with for so long. But the, right, after we get that, the devil will come right back underneath, right behind us, and say, hey, You ain't gonna do it. Uh, you see, it feel good now, but later on, I'm, 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 I'm gonna put something in front of you to do that, right? But God said, God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. He said, I will be with you to the end of the world. He said, I will help you, I will strengthen you. So, with God telling me this, his word telling me this, in my feelings, my flesh, and the devil's in my ear, and, some, and most sometimes even people along with that 
telling me that I'm not going to fall. I'm going to go to the same different side that I've been going to all my life. You're in a failure all your life. So you, 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 I don't care what you do. You can go. You nothing like your dad, big daddy. You're going to go down. You're going to go and that's, uh, go down and, and go into drugs and and, and you're going to be a woman beater or you're going to you're going to you're going to cheat on your wife. All of these things. But God said you are holy. You, I created you. You know what I mean? I formed you. I strengthened you. I called you and sanctified you. Amen? Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, hmm. because he trusted in thee. Keep the eyes on the prize. Amen? Trust is, 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 is a big thing for God. Amen? God requires our trust. In order, we, we are saved by faith. And a lot of times we don't get to what God called us to get, called us to be. Because due to a lack of faith. Uh-huh. And, and faith, is, faith is something that, that dwindles. Anything that God is telling us to do, any, anything that God is telling us to uh, uh, overcome or to accomplish in him, that lack of faith or that, that lack of trust is what's going to push God away. Or what's going to have God, but I'm not, make, I'm not making no moves unless you put your faith or your trust or, or, or put your trust in me. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times that when we don't we, we, we put God in a box and we and we and we and we we make God we know God we believe that God is exists but we don't believe the things that he's promised us. Okay? So with perfect peace. God said I will keep you in I will keep he, you in perfect peace who mind is stayed on me because he put his trust in me. So the lot, most of the time, the battle, the battle is in our minds. Okay, especially when, especially when we, we go, we go out, we say, "God, I'm gonna read the word of God. I'm gonna read the word of God to them. Read the word of God to them. Read the word of God to them." Go in and you read the word, you get a good word. But I don't know, for me, the, the, when, I'm, when I'm reading the word of God, is the devil be at me so heavy, so heavy, so heavy, so many distractions. So many uh, 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 lines you put in your head, or, or, or like I say, your flesh, your flesh will be going against what the word of God is saying, but your spirit is saying yes, yes, yes. But your flesh is saying no, no, no. And we can get confused with thinking that that's me saying no. That's that's me. That's me. That's I, I'm not saved, or, or I don't believe, or, or am I really? Am I really changed? Because I'm feeling like this, but my mind and my, my spirit is saying I, I agree with this. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of times, it's, it's the battle is in our minds. But God has said that I called you. He said that I chose you. You didn't choose God. Jesus said you didn't choose me, but I've chosen you out of the world. You know what I mean? So if He chose you, why would He, by you doing what He told you to do, meditating His Word day and night, why would He? Why would He not? Why would He leave you now? Why would He forsake you now? When 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 it's, it's things with going with financially, <clears throat> with things with, with uh, 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 God providing for us, we a lot of times put our trust in our bank accounts, or we put our trust in our four hundred and one k, or going to get money, or all all these all these plans. Well, God is saying, God, when God, God, when God is saying, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and everything else will be added unto me, added unto you. Because when he said that seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, we're putting our minds and our hearts on God. God, teach me how to live. Teach me how to think. How should I look? So when, when I'm battling with lust, when it's when it's flesh, it's when it's flesh in you, when I see someone that, that looks decent, how can my flesh is like, no, but God, how am I going to be able to fight this thing? How am I going to be able to overcome? How am I going to just depress these thoughts keep coming out of my mind? I'm battling yeah. these images that the devil can put in my mind. How can I, how can I overcome this? He said, keep your mind on me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did I tell you in my word about what I said about this situation? The thing I love about God is this. He covers everything. Yeah, that's right. everything. God covers every single thing. Amen. Dealing with finances, him supplying, him providing, Dealing with relationships, marriage, dealing with with with, with fear of men, fear of sickness, fear of everything. God covers it all. So, when things are coming into our heart, when, when things are when, when somebody that that, that when somebody that, that 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 we said somebody back in the day, I mean, they used to be intimidated up back in the day, 
or with somebody like when, when, when these these things come up in our mind, we supposed to resist the devil and have our eyes focus on what God is telling me. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. So he said this: that will keep him in perfect peace, who mind is stayed on thee, because because he trusteth in thee. And when he said that, when 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 Abraham staggered out at the promise of unbelief, because. We had to, I had to learn this too, <clears throat> because I, I believe in God for the for Him being a disciplined God, a justice God, right? I know that if I do something, He's gonna discipline me. I know that He's gonna whip my butt. Got that? I know that He, I know that He caused me to do this. I know, I know that He wants me to. He don't want me to to, to lie no more, sin no more, think no more, be up the way. I know He don't want me to do that. I know He want me. I know what He want me to do His commandments. But I would think I would not. I would not think. That is for my good. Yeah. I would not believe that it is he loves me. He's doing this because he has a plan for me. Yeah. That his way is better than my way. But I will believe God for the, the best. I, like, I, like even with parents. I believe I know that if I if I disrespect, if I if I disrespect my parents, I'm gonna get a butt whooping. I know that for a fact. I know that I can just, I can talk crazy to God. I can take crazy to uh 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 to my parents. Because I do, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give my boy. I know that. But I didn't want, I didn't have any confidence or any hope to, to, to maximize on what God called me to do, as far as grace is concerned, right? I was terrible, and I was, well, I'm not stupid, but at the same time, like, I was, I was, I didn't, I didn't try at all, right? I was good disciplinarian, uh, like, as far as, like, at school, I was, I was, uh, very, um, this I didn't, I didn't have detentions and nothing like that, I didn't get suspended and nothing like that, but I wasn't. So I was sitting there looking dumbfounded. I was sitting there like seriously stuck in the same position, not moving forward. Not even though even though I don't want to do nothing to get a whipping, but I don't want to get I don't want to do nothing to make to make my father have a proud or make my parents proud. He don't want I don't want you to just not get in trouble. I want you to fulfill what, what I told you to do. You see what I said? Maximize. I give, I give like the going with the show, with the show thing, the, with the show that we have going on. Even with pictures, so I go put some folks on the show with the with 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 with, with the uh, uh, um, with the gifts that he has given us to cultivate ideas and to uh, uh, um, um, to create the designs and everything like that. God bless us with that gift. Now he called. Now, like I said, we don't know. We we I believe I, with with the mentality of no. Let me stop. God wants us to maximize what he has given us. Continue to come to him to get ideas and, or, or, yeah. and, and to do things for his glory. Yeah. He doesn't want us to sit stagnant and, and to be lazy with what he has given us. Right. Amen. I don't want to get a, I don't want to get a whooping, but at this, you don't, you should have a mindset where I don't want to get a whooping, but at the same, but I don't want to maximize what he what he has blessed me. I want to make my father proud. Right. Period. Yeah. I want to do everything to the maximum capacity that he has called me to do to make him proud. You don't want us to just sit back and just, okay, God, all right, okay, I'm going to do this. But you have no confidence. Anybody can come to you and tell you that you're you nothing, you're nothing. And it's like, okay, all right, all right. So, wait, who, who is my, I'm a child of the king. Come on, now. I don't care how much money you got, I don't care how much college degree that you might have. You're not smarter than my father. Who are you talking, who are you talking to? I know the benefits that he, that he has given me, no matter what my past might be. Uncle, what I did before, you're not better than me? Period. Because God is in God said we are not puffing up flesh. But we have to understand that we are children of the king. And he does not want us to just believe him for whoopings, for punishment. He wants to believe him to give us peace. To give us to give us eternal life. Yeah, yeah. Oh goodness, God is good. So he said, trust in the Lord forever. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Okay, so God is so good. When, when, when because we, we battle. We, listen, church, we battle every day against this enemy, the devil. Okay, we battle against our flesh, but we battle, let's focus on this enemy, the devil. We gotta understand that God is more powerful than the enemy. Like, like that he said earlier, nothing goes past without God allowing it to take place. God gave. The devil limitations when he came to it, when he was looking to attempt they I mean, to, to tempt Job, he gave him limitations. You only can do so much. Okay, you can do that, but don't touch his life. Yeah. Mm. 
But you think the devil wanted to kill? You know the devil, you know the devil wanted to kill Job. Yeah. Right? But the God said, don't touch his life. Right. You can do whatever you want to do, but you can't touch him. You see what I'm saying? So when we know that as we go through this trial, the, the, like I said, walking well, through the valley of the shadow of death, going out, killing off, killing off the lust of desires, killing off the flesh, and, 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 and fulfilling God's purpose in our life. We are meant, we are designed for God's glory. We're designed to preach the gospel to the poor, to no, to free to the whole to the whole world, to cultivate minds, to change minds, to bring us back to Christ. That's, that's what we're called to do. Yeah. Amen. And we know, and, they, and, and with this calling, we cannot treat it as if it's a bubble gun calling. This is this is we are working for the King yep. and the Lord of Lords. Amen. So with that, we, we, got, we, gotta, we gotta look at God differently. We gotta look at God as He is who He is. God is greatness. God is greatness. Who you think? What is this? He said, he said, every good and perfect gift comes from above. Yeah. We don't deserve from the Father of lights without no shadow touch. So all, all of these, we look, we, we, we look, we sometimes we look at these um these athletes, uh athletes. Yeah. We look at uh people that's that's creative with songs and acting and things of that nature. And we're like, man. I mean, look at the, what they have, and we're like, damn, they, they have something. What do you mean? You just understand that God gives talent and Wisdom and knowledge of science and all these things. God created everything. I want to do everything that God calls me to do. Completely with confidence, trust, and not fearing nothing. But him. But the devil will come in and no, nah, you ain't nah. No, nah, you ain't nah. Who, who, I have control over you. I have I, I have control. And then, and then and then we look at other people and fear people and things of the nature. Oh, they said this before, and, and, and all this stuff, they, they, they fear, they, they said this to me, and all this. No, I don't care what, what nobody say. But they, they, he, would put, he would put that in your mind. He would play these images that took place years ago and all of these things that took place. But God is saying, you're a new creature. Yeah. I have given you power and authority. Keep your mind focused on me. You've got to understand that, that, that God is a gracious God. He's a loving God. He saves us. He saved us from our iniquities. He saved us from uh, um, all of our uh, all of our, our, our pains. He saved us from destruction. Like in, the, in like Psalms 103 said, he, he crowned us with Psalms 37. He crowned us with love and kindness. Mm. He loves us. He gave us mercy. You know what I mean? It's not based off material things. It's about that, that peace that God gives us. Yeah. That I'm like when we when we, when we go around people that we used to have so much bitterness and hatred towards. You go around with peace. Hey, I love you. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? That's nothing but the power of God. Yeah. Period. Because all the people that I had, I had so much animosity towards, and I didn't like, I like, 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 if I see the problem again, I'm like, no, wait a minute. I'm encouraging this person. And the Lord, I have no hope. But nobody can do that besides God. Us placing our trust and completely on God. God is holy. The verse 7, it says, the way of the just is of rightness. Thou most upright. Weigh the path of the just. We can trust God because God is holy. God is perfect. I love, I love, I love for gospel. I love, I love, I love. I love, I love, I love I, oh, oh, man, it teaches holiness. God is holy. God teaches his holiness. When we read his word, we should trust everything he said because he is, he is what we love. We love holiness because of him. Yeah. Our path is perfect. He doesn't do anything to harm us. Now, we all going to go through disciplines and trials and tribulations to strengthen us. But God's meaning behind the trials and tribulations is not to destroy us and let the devil glory over us. But it's to give him glory and to show that I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Everybody, come in and see what my father can do. See what my God can, can, can bring me through. Wow. That's, that's, that's the reason why we go through these trials and tribulations. But God is a holy and perfect God. That, that everything that God does is good. When he slaughtered, when he slaughtered babies, when he slaughtered the whole nations and things in the nature, I best believe that God did it for a good purpose. I'm about, to, I'm about to go into these these fleshly, uh, uh, worldly mentalities. Oh gosh, you know, if God love, why did he do that? They did this. Yeah. You don't know what God is doing. That's right. That's right. God, everything that God does is good. That's right. That's true. Trust Him. Like when he said what he said, he said that we sometimes we put our trust in man. We can trust what man said and what people say above what God is telling us. Because let me you know, God and the man didn't deliver us from nothing. Man, he God used preachers and pastors as a tool, resource. Now we must respect and honor our leaders because they are anointed. But God is the one that delivered us from everything that we went through. Yep. 
looking at our testimonies, God has brought me through all, brought us through all of our te testimonies because we were dependent and trusting in Him. That's the only way. So, going along with this walk, we can sometimes be iffy with what God is telling us, but we can, we can feel comfortable hearing it from somebody else. Mm -hmm. Jesus yeah. said, how can you receive honor from man but not receive honor from God only? But take what he said. He said, he said, the way of the just is a rightness, which is, he said, which is goodness, holiness. He said, thou most upright dost weigh the path of the just. So those who look at holy as holy, those who are who are mighty holy men of God, God is the way they judge. God is the holiest of holies that judge their path. And we have to magnify God. Put God above anything. I don't care who is the most scariest, most brutalist looking person you might have think that you ever seen in your life. God is stronger than them. And, and you know how to do that. Because the flesh will go in the depth of the realm. Who you think you? Who you think you? I'm a child of God. I put my faith, my faith and my trust in God. Period. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of nothing or no one because of Him. Yes. He is bigger than all of our problems. Look at look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He said, He said, He said, I fear you, King. He said, He said, He said, He said, I'm about, He said, I'm, about, I'm paraphrasing. He said, I'm not, I'm not going to worship your images. Oh, 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 God. He said, My God is able to deliver me from your fiery pit. And if not, we still don't worship you. But what they did, they took God. Even what Daniel and the lions did. Mm -hmm. He looked at the lions. He looked at God. No matter how scary, because lions can do some damage. Right. They can do some damage. Mm -hmm. But God is bigger and greater. So we have to cultivate that, that mentality and that attitude of, 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 of relying and trusting in God. Amen. Whatever what the word of God says, whatever God is calling you to become, and what he promised you, be that. Because the Bible says holiness and peace without men. Without which no man shall see the Lord. What does that mean? Then when he was mentioning idolatry, a witchcraft, malice, all these things, he said, those things which I said to you, don't read the word. He said, he said, those things which I said before, and I say to you now, those who do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So what are we telling our people? Are we, te are we telling God because like a brother, we talking to brother yesterday, a couple days ago, we said, "What are you? Are you saying that God delivered me from all of these things, or all of these, all of these, these, these strongholds that I had found, the fear of things, and fear of the devil, fear of men, uh, 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 people dealing with homosexuality, lust, covetousness, thieving? Are, are you telling me I have to go back to that thing? Come on, you telling me I ain't got no choice but to go back to my sin? Uh -huh. The devil is a lot. God forbid. Yeah. God forbid." God, God, God didn't call us to go back into what we keep brought us out of. Right. We can't do that on our own. We have to depend and trust in God. And we have fear of men. In the devil, we have folks of uh, fear of men, what people are gonna, what people say, what people think about us. Or, or, or people that might have did something to us before in the past that might have offended us for a long time, but, but God has set us free. He, he set us free. He, he restored us. We still hold on to that. We still look at the person like, I'm a child of God now. I'm not, I don't fear you with your opinions anymore. Hearken unto me, my people. Give ear unto me. He really said, hearken unto me, my people. Give ear unto me, O my nation, for a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a life of the people. My righteousness is near. My salvation is going forth. And my arm shall judge the people. The owls shall wait upon me, and my arm shall they trust. Lift up your eyes to the heavens. Look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke. And the earth shall wax old like a garment. And they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall be abolished. So we, when we look at we think about righteousness and salvation, God saved us from sin. He saved us, let me be specific, from anger, wrath, malice, fornication, idolatry, lust, right? And he gave us the, the, the mindset of humility, of arrogancy, pride. He gave us the mindset of humility. Loving our neighbors as we love ourselves. Meekness, uh, uh, self-control. All of these things. Love the neighbor as ourselves. Give glory to God. He, uh, 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 the, uh, he that called, he that said to me, Lord, Lord, shall not inherit the kingdom of God, but he that do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, these things, well, righteousness, right? Going with 
Because like so we out here on the front line, even with these shows, even with, with us preaching holiness and and and, 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 and and living, even when we at work and we're going out or whatever, we represent Christ at all times. So and Christ is controver is controversial with God. God he don't he said I didn't come to bring peace, but I came to bring a sword, right? So with what we're doing, the Bible says Jesus said, He said, He said, He said, Don't be don't be surprised. He said, Peace of man will hate you. For you. He said, Blessed are those, he said, Blessed when you will meet shall hate you and separate you from the company. But he said, Do not be afraid. He said, don't fear what people might say. Don't fear the word. Don't fear what kind of joke. Whatever they might say, don't fear any of that. Be, so check out what he said. He said this. For the moth shall enter them, the mouth, the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever. Holiness. Right is right to live, to live by God's name. These things that God is teaching us will abide forever. The things that the, the people, that the devil might use, even family members or whatever, these, even, even with these evil people that might be profiling or whatever they might do, that the devil might use to get to you, they're going to they gonna vanish away. He said, but what I'm teaching you, my morals and my commandments and my precepts, that's going to that's gonna be forever. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake us in the ancient days in the, in the generations of old. Art thou not it that had cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Art thou not it which dried the sea, the waters of the great deep that had made the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over? Talking about, talking about people walking over the, the uh, going across the, the Red Sea. He said, therefore, redeem, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. And they shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I am an I am he that comforted you. God has said, I am the one that gives you your way that you're living. I'm the one that gives you the mentality that you that, that, that you that I'm giving you that. I'm telling you what to say. I'm telling you that holiness is still right. I'm telling you that it's, it's right to live by my command. I'm telling you this. Right? But he said this. He said, Who art thou? That thou should be afraid of men that shall die. And of the devil. And of the, and, and, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass. And forgetteth the Lord thy maker. That has stretched forth the heavens. And laid the foundations of the earth. And has feared continually every day. Because of fury of the oppressor. As if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? So he's saying here. God is saying that I am your sh I am the one that comforted you. I'm the one that's saying, telling you what to say and gives you your life and I feed you every day and I give you your joy and your peace and your understanding. I give you this as you seek me. He said, who are you to be afraid of men? Men's reproaching for you doing the right thing. I get that clear. Who are you to fear? I don't, who are you, who, who, is, who? They're not greater than I am. Keep your eyes focused on me. That's what he's saying. So we gotta have we have to have this confidence in God. I don't care. I'm gonna I'm do what God called me to do without any compromise. I'm gonna meditate His word, and when I speak, I'm gonna speak with thus says the Lord. Period. Mm -hmm. Without being afraid of anything, because He's saying if you keep your eyes focused on Me, what I can do, My protection, My understanding, My wisdom, I'm gonna get you through. Not to say that we won't go through trials and tribulations. I'm gonna say that we won't go through things. But God is bigger than our trials and tribulations that we face. Yeah. Going when he said the attitude that we have. Going is, is he said the attitude is separated, is separate from our circumstance. How we how we think and look at certain things will determine how if we're gonna overcome the situation or not. So we're gonna look at God is with me. I don't care who, who this thing might what the obstacles might look like in my life. God is bigger than he's gonna he's gonna be able to send to me. I don't care I don't care if it's, if it's gonna take a year, whatever how long it might take, God will get me through. Amen.